The Biden administration announcing new immigration policies that will take effect after the end of Title 42, including Title 8, which was used before the pandemic era policy was put in place. Good evening and thank you for joining us for KTSM 9 News at 5. I'm Andy Morgan. Organizations offering migrant as well as refugee services are saying these new policies hinder the path to legalization. KTSM 9 News reporter Tani Davis is live from the U.S.-Mexico border with a breakdown. And Tani, this marks a fundamental shift in immigration policy. As you said, there are now talks about reverting back to Title VIII, which imposes larger fines and longer, uh, longer uh, jail penalties for those crossing illegally into the U.S. However, those with the diocesan migrant and refugee services say this actually hinders the immigration process. The new immigration policies also include requiring anyone who wants to apply for asylum to make an appointment through the CBD-1 phone app. There are a limited number of appointments available per day through the app and appointments can be made 23 hours a day in advance. We'll also to toughen rules about asylum so applications are open only to people who can show they apply to third countries and were rejected and that they try to make appointments through the CBP app. However, the legal director from DMRS says that these policies don't actually make it easier for people to cross the border, border legally. It essentially puts hurdles and roadblocks in the process of most asylum seekers to the point where um, essentially it's going to make it where most people will not qualify to seek asylum in the U.S. While Maynard knows these policies are a deterrent tactic for people who are crossing illegally, she believes that it won't work for people who are trying to seek safety. She instead says there will be more people stuck with no viable process to get relief. And we also did hear from the U.S. Secretary of Homeland Security, Alejandro Mayorkas, about these new policies. He says there is a concern that there will be smugglers who are promising to bring people over to the U.S. and issued a warning saying that they are not to be trusted. Reporting near the U.S.-Mexico border, Tawny Davis, KTS. Sam 9 News.